Hello everybody and welcome to this exciting tutorial on how to create outdoor lighting in the Blender game engine. My name is Blender in the Sky and I will not only show you the lighting but also how to create a sky dam. So stay tuned for that and let's get started. So we're back at our scene which we had last time with this small landscape and where we placed our bed around. But now today we're gonna look into lighting. So let's get started. First of all to have something where we can see our lighting applied we will add our, a monkey, make it smooth and also add a subdivision surface modifier to it. So now we have this nice smooth monkey to just demonstrate our lighting on him. And now let's delete our lighting completely and start over. First, I will add in a sun lamp and aim that make this slightly rotated from the right side. You can rotate it like ever you want, but this looks kind of good. So let's add a shadow to this lamp because we need a shadow. That's very important. And then let's change some settings over here. Turn the strength up to 1.5. I make the color slightly yellowish as the sun's color would be yellow. And then let's look into the shadow settings. So as you can see our shadow is kind of pixelated which has to do with these settings down here. So this first setting just defines how good the quality of our shadow is. And numbers that work good are just factors of the basic number you see here 512. So if I multiply that by 2, we get uh, 1024. We can even multiply that again and again. So we get a nice crisp shadow. Looking good. So now something else we have to look into. If we duplicate that monkey and place it over here, we see that he doesn't have any shadow. Why is that? That's because of the frustum size setting. If we turn this setting up, Sooner or later our monkey back there will also get a shadow. But as you can see, as we turn the frustum size up even higher, our shadow will lose quality. So you have to find the right um, balance between your distance, you will have shadows, and the quality of your shadows. But that's it for the la sun lamp. So now we have to have a nice sky lighting, which is basically just some ambient light coming from all sides from your blue sky dome. So for that we will use a hemisphere. We don't need specular in this lamp and the energy is gonna be not that strong, just very low. And make it bluish. And now we will aim this up kind of the other direction of the sun lamp. And yeah, it's looking a little bit nicer right now, but we will have to add more of these to fake um, like ambient light coming from all sides of the sky. So you will just duplicate these hemispheres and rotate them in different directions. And as you can see now, we have some very cool sky lighting, ambient light from all sides. Maybe they are a little bit too strong. So I changed the strength of all of these lamps and now it's looking pretty cool. So the last thing we have to add is a ground reflection light which will make it look even cooler. So we will just use another hemisphere and aim it straight upwards. And now this can have a lot more strength. And this is gonna have a green color as our grass around here is green. And as you can see now, our monkey starts to look like he's reflecting the green grass below him. And that's exactly what we want. It's looking pretty cool. So let's check that out in the game. Yeah, it looks like some nice lighting. Let's place a bed. Okay, we might as well just implement something cool which is what I have over here this awesome bear from my survival game so as you can see the bear is nicely lit and looking really realistic so now as we have our lighting set up let's look into a skydam setting so for that we need first a UV sphere and we will scale this thing up a lot We'll make it really big and we will delete the uh, 
lower part. And then we will flip the direction of the normals so all of them face to the inside. You can oops, you can even look at this if you click over here. Now all of these blue lines are pointing to the inside, which is good, which is what we want. And then we have to add our texture of our material for Skyrim and then our texture. So what you need for that is just some kind of texture like this for your Skydam and then you simply just unwrap the whole Skydam and scale it in a little bit and you will see it's nicely applied. Let's make this smooth too and let's change some settings in the texture settings. First we change the blend mode to multiply which gives us more control over the color of the Skydam because now we can change it in all fancy kind of styles but I want to leave it as natural as possible turn down the specula as completely and now if we activate emission it will get kind of shadeless it's better than using shadeless though because then you don't have that much control over it so now also activate back face culling so we only see the inside and it's not in our way and scale it up bigger as our landscape and as you can see now because we have mist in our scene we can't really see our landscape let's first make some changes to the mist because it doesn't really look good for now let's make it a nice bluish mist that's looking good but now how to make our landscape better visible well scale it down on Z is the first thing you can do because now if you look up you should see your skydom and it's looking quite nice already but you can also scale it in a little bit more so yeah the skydom is looking kind of good let's aim this up with our sun lamp so let's check out where our sun lamp in the skydom is and make it come from the same direction and there we go, that's how you basically add a Skydom. But now what we have to do is parent the Skydom to our player because now it doesn't move with the player. So what you do for that, you just click your player with shift and then you make a vertex parent with the player. And what that does, I will demonstrate you really quick. If you grab the player now, the Skydom will follow your movement but if you rotate the player, this Skydom will stay in place, so it won't rotate with you. And that's exactly what we need. Now we have that nice Skydom we can walk around with, and it will follow our movement, so we will never hit it. We will never get near to it. And the same thing we can also do with our Sun Lamp. So what that does, which is really cool, is it gives us the ability to leave the Frustum size pretty low, but always to have shadow near the area where we are and it also will remove shadow from objects which are very far from us which will increase the performance for your stuff and if we get near to this bear you can see the shadows load in and everything looks cool yeah and that's it that's how you make it now you can make some awesome lighting in the blender game engine of course you can improve this, you can make day-night cycles with this right now and just animate the sun color and stuff like this. But yeah, that was it. Check out my other videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!